As you notice, when I'm driving, I have no mirrors. Kelvin Ariola, in the CX Racing FCR7. Ooh, Kelvin. It's exploding that front bumper. As it says on his windshield, dang. Uh oh. I used to have mirrors here and here. I didn't put these back on because they're kind of cracked and busted and that's a fake mirror right there. So you can't see out of these. This one you could kind of see out of, but it's also cracked. What do we have here? A dusty box from 2016. <laughs> Victory. Anyways, I bought these a while back ago just because my fender mirrors have been cracked for so long. And as you can see, my bench is a mess. So as I start putting together my car, there's less mess on my bench. I really do have a mess everywhere. Like, everywhere. Okay, we could take off these stickers. Okay, take off this sticker. Okay, so I have a pair of fender mirrors here. The little base molding, this sits on top. And then we have our bracket that this sandwiches underneath the fender. Okay, very cool. I couldn't find a definite guide where to mount it. From all the pictures I looked at, um, maybe around the corner of this molding and the front of the tire is what I saw. So around this area is the optimal location. Quick wipe down. After a quick wipe down, we're just gonna tape off the area. I could probably use this bolt as a reference where it's gonna mount. All right, so this is gonna face this way. It's gonna sit on top of this flange. And I think they should sit as far as back as here. Okay, here's a photo here. And we see, can we see that? You guys see that? The edge of the indentation is in the middle of the mirror. So we're just gonna line this up I just want to make sure this is going to sit, this is going to have enough room to bolt on and looks like it's going to work. We'll do 25 millimeters. We'll do 26. Sure. Here's the thing with 26. I'm going to draw a line here. Draw a line there. And then we're going to draw our straight line here. Okay, so I'm gonna drill along this line. More or less, this is the center and this is the center. So that's gonna be the center line, somewhere around there. I'm gonna use this point as a center, right? And then we're gonna use this as a center. Okay, and then I'm lining up this flange, more or less. Okay, and I want this plate pretty much to be in the very center. All right, so I'm just gonna eyeball the center there. So this is where the first hole is. We're gonna measure the spread. Let's call it 23. Okay, so the first hole's there. So this is my first hole. This is my second hole. All right, you're probably wondering how big of a hole. It's about six millimeter. About six. 7.7, sure. Let's drill some pilot holes here. Okay, one. Two, punching my fender. Okay, moment of truth here. Oh yeah, 
But yeah, we got a fender in there. Flush with the flange. We can even measure with this messed up ruler where the force hole is. It's about 15 and a half inches. So if I do about 15 and a half inches here, Okay, I got both sides drilled out here. I just marked where the holes were on the other side, flush against this line up here. And I just made the same exact holes. Let's get these mirrors on. Okay, so get your 7 16ths or 11 millimeter ready. The nut and lock washer. We're gonna put the flange on. Make sure it's the correct side. We're gonna put it on, make sure we didn't butcher it. All right, my plan is just to get the hot glue gun, get that hot, get that hot enough, shove this up there, and then I can get the bolt in. What if this will work? A good dab and dowel up there. Okay, Let's run back over here, run back over here, and watch me struggle. Make sure we're somewhat straight. We've instilled false confidence while driving. Fender mirror. Fender mirror. There's one. There's the other. Now I have something to stare at when I'm switching lanes. These things are really hard to adjust by yourself. You're just back and forth. So I recommend just having a buddy adjust them for you and sit in your seated position. Let's go over the pros and cons of uh, fender mirrors. Pro, they look cool. Two, they look cool. Three, they look pretty cool. Make your car look pretty Japanese. Okay, three cons. You can't see anything out of them. And then if someone's driving with their high beams or since you're a lowered car, sometimes you just have this constant glare in your face and you can't adjust your mirror because it's all the way outside. Number two, if I need to work on the car, the fender mirror is usually right in the way. Let's say I want to take out my exhaust manifold. I'm either on this side or I'm either on this side. You either have to be in front or behind. Number three, um, I've had bad luck with these, but these are cheap. Um, my car vibrates a lot. So when it vibrates, the mirrors just tend to sag down or go always go out of adjustment, which is kind of annoying. At least you look cool. I kind of liked the no mirrors for a while, but man, driving this car was a pain because you're constantly looking behind you. Okay, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go adjust these mirrors.